What's up? It's Andy Grammer with Jag. Hi, this is Carly Rae Jepsen, and you're listening to Jag. Hey, everybody, it's Joe Jonas hanging with Jag. This is Heather Knox with the hottest Jag I've ever seen. Ryan Seacrest with Jag. It's B.O.B. checking in with my homie Jag. So much swag with my homie Jag. It's the Jag Show podcast. Welcome in. I am John Jag Gay. Quick note, I am not shooting this as a video anymore because I tried it for a couple weeks and the juice just wasn't worth the squeeze. I can release a uh, headliner video without having to shoot the actual video and spend all the time on the video editing. For those who've asked about video podcasting, that's how I ended up feeling about it. Okay, this week's big tip is to watch your volume. I was thinking about this the other day in two different settings, radio and TV. So in the car, if I get out of the car and I've been listening to a podcast and I unplug my phone, my wife gets into the car and she turns the radio on, whether it's Sirius or FM, it is deafeningly loud because the podcast volume is lower than the radio. So if I've got it cranked up to listen to a podcast, she turns it on and blows her eardrums out the next morning. I have to remember to turn the volume down when I get out of the car. It's annoying how it's not at a consistent volume. Further, we are cord cutters and we are streaming a lot. And we obviously stream multiple different applications. We uh, are binge watching the Hawaii Five-0 reboot. We're watching that through Amazon on our Fire TV. We also have, of course, Netflix. And we watch regular television through YouTube TV. And they are all different volumes. Whenever we change an app, I've got to turn the volume up or down because none of it is consistent. And it's maddening. So how does this translate to podcasts? Keep your volume consistent on your episode. That means the volume between your speakers. Keep that at the same level. And then also between your episodes. Don't have one episode be much louder than another episode. There is, of course, the amplitude, which is how tall your waveform is as you're editing it. And the other key piece is LUFS, L-U-F-S, loudness. It's how our ears perceive how loud something is. It's a really technical thing. It's hard for me to explain, but I've got a link in the show notes on uh, the details of it. Basically. Keep your loudness consistent. You want it at about minus 16 or so. And again, that's explained in the show notes. On to podcasting news from the week. Westwood One has their annual podcasting survey out. And the two big takeaways are that podcasting is pandemic proof. And Spotify is starting to close the gap with Apple in terms of how many total listeners they have. Speaking of Spotify, uh, they have a study out that says that podcast listening does not take away from music listening. And obviously, Spotify has access to both in terms of music streaming and podcast listening. They say music listeners who discover podcasts are just adding to their audio consumption time. It's not taking away from the time they're listening to music. I told you a couple weeks ago about the claims against Anchor that they are stealing podcast content and repurposing it. They claim to be cracking down on that. If you have Amazon Music, uh, they have launched podcasts in the U.S. and the U.K. You can listen to podcasts through Amazon Music. Uh, They are also going to be the exclusive home of Disgraceland. So if a new app is trying to get into the space, it seems the best way for them to do that is to have exclusivity to a popular show. Evo Terra, who is a former guest on this podcast, says there are a lot of mistakes that podcasters make, but they can actually turn into wins if you play them right and you can learn from them. That link in the show notes as well. And also Chartable, which is a service that uh, tracks a bunch of podcasts, and I use it for their short links and smart links so that if you click the link, it takes you to the podcast app of your choice. Chartable has raised $2.25 million in funding. That'll do it for this week. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will talk to you next week. Later. Thanks for listening to the Jag Show podcast. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe in Apple, Spotify, Google, or wherever you get your podcasts. For help with your podcast, find Jag on social media at Jag in Detroit or on the web at jagindetroit.com.